Hi everybody, Chris from Battle Goat Studios with another short video about a feature in Supreme Ruler 2030 that has changed since release in reflection of what the community is asking for. Quickly after release, there was a number of people who expressed some frustration that for one facility on the map, at one location, if you've got 100 power plants, players wanted to say, that one power plant, how much does it make? And some of the math under the hood made that a little hard to get everything in order, but we've done that. Now, as you look through the user interface, either in the land department holding over a facility, if you right-click a location and inspect the facilities, or in the bottom right corner, there's a list of facilities. All of those locations for any facility that produces a commodity, such as your ore mines, your uranium mines, power plants, it will report two values. One value is, what did this produce yesterday exactly? What was its output yesterday? The second value is, based on my current settings, what can I expect it to produce at the end of the day today for my tomorrow quantity? And if you change your production to 50% of capacity from 100 and then inspect the building, you'll see those numbers change immediately so you can understand what it's going to produce tomorrow and if you're trying to figure out which of your facilities is providing the most, most, you can see everything they produced yesterday and figure out which is the biggest and the smallest. So that had seemed to be an important request from the community. We gave it a lot of focus. The UI at this point is with the latest update, we've got those numbers spread out to all the places in the UI that we wanted to see them. So that's another example of us trying to integrate community feedback. If you've got things that you'd like to see added, definitely hop on to the forums and even check out what other people are asking for. It's helpful to us when one user makes a suggestion. If 10 more users reply to that saying, I like this idea, it helps us understand what the community as a whole is looking for as opposed to one voice in the wilderness asking for one feature. So yeah, thanks for watching the videos. We'll try and keep bringing you a few more of these short videos. Thanks.